So you want to make an ambient planet-like scene in space and yeah, outer outer spaceness. Hey guys, welcome back. That's my Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 EV once again, taking a look at a cool ambient space kind of planet thing cinematic that you see in places that are specific. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of default cube. I'm sorry, default cube. Delete on my keyboard. Then we'll go ahead and select our camera. Alt G to clear the rotation, Alt R to clear the location, then rotation, sorry. Uh, RX 90 on my numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, then G Y to move the camera back, and grab the lamp here, hit zero on my numpad to go into the camera's view, and I wanna go ahead and change this from uh, its position up here. I'll hit G on my keyboard to move it uh, just about right there. Maybe we'll move it around a little bit later on, but. I use the minimum mouse button to pan around my scene here, and I'll hit Shift A on my keyboard to go ahead and add in a UV sphere, and uh, that's uh, that's gonna be our planet right there. But you can see it's pretty low poly right now, not necessarily low poly, but it's not high enough poly for us to be able to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here on the right hand side, add a modifier of subdivision surface. Boom! You see we got a lot more uh, faces here. I'm also going to go up to Object and change this from Shade Flat to Shade Smooth. Now it's all smooth like and stuff. Now you could bump this up by uh, one more subdivision because you can see we have a little bit of those ridges on the sides there. If you want to get rid of that, just bump it up to two, maybe even three. You know, and then after three, it is, it's kind of overkill. Three is really overkill, but I'm going to do two for today's uh, tutorial just because... And I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to scale up our planet. Just make it a little bit bigger. Um, this is a super simple scene, by the way. We're going to go ahead and hit G to move this uh, about right there, maybe on, this, on the right-hand side. And we'll grab our lamp. Our light is now inside of the sphere. If I zoom into it, you can see it's, uh, where is that? Where is it? There it is. It's inside of the sphere. So we'll grab it, or we can just go up here and select the light, and then hit G to move it outside of it, and then move it right to the edge. Hit 0 to go back to the camera's view, and I'll just kind of move this around right there on the edge so it's not like super super hidden it's right there um, now if I go to rendered you can see that we can see the light on the on the planet there which looks pretty cool I'm gonna go to the world tab changes from gray to solid black now it looks even cooler right and I'll move it out like like uh, about right uh, right here maybe yeah, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna also go to, go ahead and turn my overlays off, so we can't see any of the other stuff we don't need to see. Um, I want to go and split my window into two by dragging from the left hand side up here, and just splitting the window by dragging the corner of that. Um, then going ahead and changing this from the object from the 3D viewport to the shader editor, formerly known as the node editor. Um, and we'll go ahead and add. Uh, what's I doing? Oh yes, uh, we need to go to world. So from object to world here. Then we'll hit Shift A to add in a search node, and that'll be a volume scatter. So we'll type in volume, and we'll just get a scatter node and put that right there, and plug that into the volume. Now we got some good stuff going on with the density. The density is not uh, right, so we'll go ahead and fix that by going ahead and I just said, I, why am I saying go ahead so much in this tutorial? I don't know. Um, but point one looks looks eh, pretty good, I guess. We'll do point one, and then I'll drop. I'll drop this guy down a little bit. All right, four looks good. I like the way four looks. Uh, sweet. Maybe I don't. I really want it to be softer like that. I think that looks much better. All right, so we'll go ahead and play around with the lamp settings now. We'll go and go to the lamp tab here, and we'll just turn the power down a little bit. I want it to be that soft, but I want it to be a bit smaller. So we'll turn the radius. Uh, we'll turn the radius up, but it won't do much because it's a point lamp. So what we'll do is you can see it's doing something to this side of the lamp, this side of the planet, but we can't see that. So it's kind of kind of pointless for this, but that's all right because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change the color of the lamp to a very slight bluish color, maybe something like that. And then for the planet itself, I do want to make this a color. So we'll go ahead and select the planet, go to the material tab, hit this little icon, and select the material. Now we'll change the base color to a maybe like a Venusy color. I don't know. There, maybe something like that. And I also turn specular all the way off so it's not shiny at all because planets aren't shiny, you know. We can actually go ahead and move this a bit closer to the planets. Sweet. Okay, so in the back part of this, you can see it's still black. We can't tell where it ends. That's what I was looking for right there. So we got that all set. We can close the... Actually, we, we can change the color of the volume scatter as well. Um, we don't really need to, but we can. 
So I'll go ahead and change this to like a color like this, which is pink, but it makes it look blue in the viewport. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, we're going to go ahead and close that uh, shader editor there. And now what we can do is we can uh, either choose to animate the the lamp or we can do some other stuff. But I'm going to animate the lamp first. So we'll go ahead and drag open our timeline. I'm going to make my start frame zero because it's a pet peeve of mine, you know. Uh, we'll go ahead and choose a... I keep saying we'll go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to say that one more time in this tutorial. Watch. I'm going to stop myself before I say that again. We're going to go ahead and... Oh my god. <sighs> we'll move to the second frame that I want. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, maybe somewhere around frame 50 and I'm going to hit I on my on my keyboard to insert a location keyframe and then we'll go back to zero and hit G to move our lamp approximately in the center of our plane so maybe about maybe about right there yeah then hit I location now you can see we still have some stuff here around the edges you can see we have some blue still shining through and I want it to be solid black so we can fix that by going ahead and changing the power of the lamp so I'll go to frame 50 hover our cursor over top of power hit I and then go back to zero and then change the power to zero then hover on my cursor hit I now it starts off at zero then it kind of gets brighter when it comes out of the planet there now 50 is way too fast so we'll go ahead and move this to maybe 150 boost it by 100 frames now we got something that does like this when it plays which I think looks pretty cool um, and I also want it to hmm I also kind of want it to go down a little bit while it's doing that so we'll move it like that and then I location now it kind of moves downwards a little bit and I want to frame 100 I kind of want to move it up yeah it moves down slightly which I think it looks cool right so it kind of comes out like that and looks good now it needs to be faded a little bit so we'll go to 250 and then we'll move it out just a little bit more and down a little bit more just because I don't want I don't want it to stop moving because it looks strange so we hit I location and I want to go to uh, the scene tab here and go to color management change it from filmic to default to see what it actually looks like which is this which doesn't look too great so since it's supposed to be more cinematic I'm gonna go for uh, maybe film Ooh, yeah okay film we'll go with film and I like the way it looks it looks nice uh, and then it comes out looks good we need some more motion though it's too static at the moment but that's fine we'll do that in a second and that looks good and then of course it uh, it looks like it fades away but it doesn't it, the only reason it looks like that is because uh, volume volumetrics do that in, in the blender render shader so we have to actually go ahead and fade this out so I'm gonna take another 30 I'm gonna take another 50 frames and go to 300 so we'll go did we'll change the in frame to 300 and we'll take that time to fade away this lamp so we'll push it back into the planet a little bit um, like this actually we'll pull it in all the way you know what forget that we'll go ahead and just grab this frame over here zero and then hit shift D to duplicate that and then pull it to 350 because uh, 50 frames is not gonna be enough to fade all the way out so we'll go ahead and just do that and we'll change the in frame to 350 now when we play this uh, it will do this but that's fine I don't like the way that it just sits there so we'll, on frame 350 we will turn my overlays back on so I can see what I'm doing here uh, and I want it to go back into the back into the back first so I want it to go like that first so I hit I and enter that location for the location for location for the lamp rather about halfway through so it goes backwards a little bit as well and I think that looks pretty good. Now I will add some bloom to this, so we'll go ahead and check bloom, make sure bloom's checked. Then we'll have to go ahead and turn the threshold, not all the way down, but down a little bit. Uh, so that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.